Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So, we had the Eosheen Timer 129, which will be coming up soon on my channel. The 99, the 79, and now the 69. So, this is just, I've had some pre order for it a bit, and it's just arrived today. I'd already bought it. So, let me just show you what's in the box. So, you get 10 of each right and left. 65mm props, these are the LDARC ones, I'm not sure if I put these ones on, I've got some better props than this to go on it. You get the cables to connect to your receiver etc and a XT30, this runs on 2 to 3S by the way. Get the flight controller, which is tiny obviously, 16mm, set of standoffs, your motors which I'll show you, go through in a second. ESC, the camera, again we'll go through that in a second, strap, the camera mount, and of course the frame. So let's just have a look at these parts. Let's get it out of here. This is a 105mm frame and I think it's 1.5mm carbon fibre, sorry, 2mm carbon fibre. So as you can see, it's tiny. Small little frame for small little uh, quad flat lap. It's not toothpick style, I suppose, but it is kind of a toothpick style. These are your motors. So as you can see, they're the typical branded Tyro, uh, Tyro motors. These are 1104 8600 kV and good for 2 to 3S. And as you can see, you can actually bolt. Let's just get that in focus. Let's see if I can get that in focus. You can actually, it's difficult, it's not focusing today. You can actually get propellers with screws on if you want. So you get obviously four motors. Uh, you get an F4 flight controller with a Matek 411 firmware on it. So let's have a closer look at the flight controller tiny little flight controller as you can see it's a 16 by 16 stack this and you will have to solder out the bottom of the flight controller to tell it that you want to run a S plus receiver this is the 4-in-1 ESC it's a 20 amp if I can get it in focus So the 20 amp ESC with a capacitor on the back to stop your noise. The only soldering you have to do is the 12 motors, wires that go onto here and then everything else is plug and play from here. So the wire from the ESC plugs straight into the back of this and then your camera etc plugs in. So let's have a look at the camera. The camera it comes with is a Cadix Beetle I believe. Let me just have a look. It's a Cadix Beetle V2 that it comes with. So it's kind of an all-in-one but a board split in between and then this goes onto this frame. So this frame bolts on top of your stack, the camera goes in here and the board goes, so your camera will go into this part here, like this, into the TPU mounted holder and then the board sits something like that. You get the general idea, you're going to see more when I do the build video. And it's a TPU mount. So this is your camera as I said, so it's a, I think it's a hundred milliwatt is it? Let me just have a look. I might be wrong in that, and this might be a 25 milliwatt. It's a 1200 TBL PAL camera, and it is 4x3. This does not do a 16 by 9 so it's a 4x3 camera. But neat, very, very light, ridiculously light. I think it weighs 4 grams in total. And then the other bits, you get your screws and stuff. So this should be a really easy, really easy build, and it's a very going to be a very fun little thing. You can fly it on 2 to 3S, I'll be flying it on 3S. So this was just a part one of this video, it's just arrived today, uh, my part two video will be in a couple of days which will be the build and I'll go through the build with you, I'm not going to build it on camera so I'll show you how certain bits fit and then I'll show you the end result and what I think about it and we'll take it for a flight. Thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day.